Hello, N4H and H here. A uh, quick video. I want to show you something here with the Yaesu FT DX 5000 MP. So, listening to uh, Billy hold court here, as I say, on 7150, that's AD4 PF, uh, I told him uh, his phonetics should be add decibels for power factor. <laughs> I don't know if he likes that much or not. But anyway, that's Billy. And I want to. Uh, so. Listen there between when he talks, and let me show you. Let me show you what you're not hearing. I'm going to show you where that's coming from. Okay, Suki-san, uh, go ahead and give the station Look at the and strength. give a call. Now, there was already QSOs going on on 150, and these guys just started talking on 148. So, over here in the DSP area. Narrowing the width down to 165, 1.65. And now we got some clown okay, whistling. Uh, well, Shift. And then pre-selector, in this case, a Yesu Mew Tuner. Now, I'm still hearing a little bit of that sizzle in there, that high metallic sound. Uh, you know, when you're on a, on a lower sideband um, frequency, well, 7150, 40 meters, where we usually use lower sideband, if they're parked, say, 2 kilohertz below where you're listening, their QR mirror is going to be that high-pitched metallic sound. It's the reverse of that with uh, upper sideband. So what I'm doing is a combination of narrowing the width. So I'm already using, you know, I've got a 3 kilohertz physical roofing filter dialed in, which is normal for sideband. And then over here with the DSP, digitally, I narrowed it down to 165. Oh, they're not talking right now. Okay, Travis. Well, yeah, I got it. Let me undo the mute tuner shift. Okay, there it is back. Okay, so 165. I'll go down to 15. Shift. So you. What, what I wanted you to see here is you can use a combination. You can either go more narrow with the width and then shift less, or you can not go as narrow with the width, but you, then you have to shift more. Now, which decision do you make, to be honest? Depends on who I'm listening to. If who I'm listening to has a naturally high-pitched audio, then I'm, I'm probably better off going with a more negative shift but if they already have, you know, sort of maybe their audio is either normal or somewhat low pitched, then it's probably better for me to shift less, which means I'll just have to go narrower with the filter. So just wanted you to see that little tip there. I haven't shown that before. I know I've talked about shift and and uh, using the bandwidth to, to wrestle with QR Mary, but you've got to also decide, hmm, do I want to shift more negative or go tighter with the filter? And you got to find that happy medium between the two. Now, you know, in this case, engaging the variable pre-selector and what I did with it is I moved it away from being centered up where I'm listening. Not only does that cut the noise floor, but the idea is I'm... I'm cutting out that QR Mary as well. All right, let's undo all this. Yeah, I have a 
been to the uh, Smoky Mountains uh, since I was a teenager. So the Mew Tuner is a little bit of icing on the cake. Now see, the shift has darkened his voice somewhat. But I'm very, very thin. I went down to 1.5. Now, I, you can tap the narrow button on the, uh, on the 5000 here the, to the left of your VFO. There is a button right below this blue one labeled NAR. If you tap that, it will then allow you even over here with DSP to go more narrow than 1.5. Look, 400 down to 200, but honestly below 1.1 and it's hard to tell what they're saying. Now, when you're set in narrow mode, it won't let you go wider than 1.8 so i'm going to tap the nar button and now i can go down to 1.5 or up to 4k but listen to all that noise so just trying to find that happy medium between width and shift i mean it's all a compromise remember we're not sitting here trying to make it sound like fm radio in this situation, we're wrestling with QR Mary. We're just trying to make the station we, that we do want to hear more intelligible. So it's not going to be a perfect world as far as our audio quality, but if you balance between how tight you go with your width and how much negative you go with your shift, you can uh, you know, find maybe a nice balance. And again, that's in the case here on 40 meters, lower sideband, where the interference is coming from. Uh, two two uh, kilohertz below where I'm listening, and you just reverse the shift in a situation where it was upper sideband, or if the interference was coming from two kilohertz above on a lower sideband uh, frequency. Okay, I hope someone finds this tip helpful and informative. Thank you for watching, and hey, thank you Patreon supporters for continuing to support the channel and help me keep this mission going of. Uh, hopefully Elmering uh, newer operators and, uh, well, maybe even some refreshers for older operators. I know uh, I'm an older operator and I enjoy uh, learning new things. So I do appreciate you Patreon supporters for helping me with that. And so uh, with that, I do want to encourage anyone else who would like to become a Patreon supporter of this channel, uh, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com patreon dot com forward slash n4hnh hey and if you would like the video that helps the uh, search algorithm with youtube so it'll make the channel more visible to others who could benefit from uh, information that they would gain here and of course um, consider subscribing to the channel and if you do subscribe click the bell and you'll be notified uh, when i upload the next video Again, thanks for watching and 73 from N4HNH.